how to compare negative numbers. Now, there's no quorum about it if we have a 9 and 5, okay, and put a box in between. Everyone knows 9 is bigger than 5 because 9 dollars is more than 5 dollars. Now, when we add the silly negative signs, a lot of students get confused at first. So, what do you do? Well, um, the way I teach students is I always think of this one as money you owe, okay? And then think of this one, so long you have a negative, it's also money you owe. So if you owe between owing min minus $5, owing $5, or owing, owing $9, which one would you be more sad? Well, of course, I'm hoping you'll be sad over here, right? Because this one you actually owe more. So what does that mean then? Drawing a number line here. Okay, here's the zero. Here's our five, here's our nine. So this one is bigger. Okay. Now, minus five goes here and keep on going uh, this way to owing more and more, right? So the more you owe, the sadder you're gonna get, right? So this one is actually bigger. On this half, if you closer to the zero, thinking zero as the hot source, so you're getting bigger and bigger until you don't owe anything, right? So a correct answer for this one is minus five is bigger than minus nine, right? Let's try another one. If I give you a minus 10 and minus three, okay? Well, of course, you're gonna be sad over here because you owe more, right? So mi minus three is actually bigger and happier. The way we read bigger is that this side is opens bigger. So this side is happier. So think of you putting a, a bigger side on a happier side, dealing with a negative sign. So when owing money, think of that way. All right, hope this helps. Have a confident day.